In today's Leeds news, the final loan watch of the season, Joel Robles' future update, and the under-21s into playoff final. Hey folks, Jay here at The View on Tuesday morning, the 9th of May. Hope you've all had a pretty good week so far. Not a huge amount going around at the moment. You'd expect that. Season's starting to wrap up. Um, but we are going to fly through this week's loan watch. The I've said the last one in the in the title, but there's probably at least one more based on Cody Drama and Joe Gatt having the playoffs. So that's that. Uh, one a week if you're a fan of the channel, if you like the channel, if you want to help us grow here, you can do so by subscribing. We are... 70 off 10,000, which is mad. So if, if you want to help us get there, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, um, so we're going to go through long watch. We're going to go through Joel Robles' update future from Fabrizio Romano. And we're also going to talk about Joel 21s that were in action last night. So uh, let's crack on and get into this with this week's long watch. Leo Kelde back in the Rotherham lineup and played 81 minutes in their nil-nil draw against Wigan. Joe Gellhart played 72 minutes and assisted Sunderland's third goal in their 3-0 win over Preston. Cody Drama not in the Luton Town squad for their 0-0 draw against Hull City. Ian Paveda also not in the Blackpool squad for their 0-1 win against Norwich. Alfie McCalmoth back in the Carlisle team and played 90 minutes in their one-all draw with Sutton United. Stuart McKinstry was an unused substitute for, against Kilmarnock in Motherwell's 2-0 win. And Diego Urente was an unused sub in Roma's 2-0 loss to Inter Milan. Uh, a lot of players here will be finishing up their long moves and heading back to Leeds now. Leo Kjelde, um, a lot of people mentioned him recently. He's had a long spell out of the uh, Rotherham team and has managed to get his way back into the team. Started really well there, went off the boil, has come back into form towards the back end of the season. So, you know, still a very useful loan for him. Joe Gellhart. Uh, it took him a while to get going at Sunderland, but has done and is now in the playoffs for him. So he's got a couple of, at least at least one more big game in him. Um, Cody Drama also in the playoffs has had a fantastic loan spell at Luton. They finished third. It's crazy thing that Luton Town finished third in, in the championship, but they did. Uh, Paveda, weird one. He's had a really tough time at Blackpool between three different managers. He's had issues. He's been kicked out of the squad. He's been brought back into the squad. He's been dropped. Um, he's had disciplinary issues. It's been a really up and down, turbulent time for Paveda at Blackpool. And it'd be interesting to see what happens with him when he comes back to Leeds. Anthony McCalmott has had a decent time at Carlisle United, but you've got to think that the McCalmott is probably edging out of Leeds United at this stage. But um, has had a reasonably good time at Carlisle United for him. Stuart McKinstry started off really well at Motherwell. Had a really strong start to his time up there. Was doing very well when all the other Leeds loanees were struggling in the championship. McKinstry was doing very well in Scotland, but he has just fallen out of favour up there and has found himself on the bench more often than not in the last couple of months. Um, and been an unused sub quite a lot recently as well. So it's unfortunate for Stuart McKinstry that his time in Motherwell has finished that way. But see what happens with him in the summer as well. Another decision on a player that would be need to be made on him. You know, is he at the level to push into the Leeds United senior squad? Probably not right now. That that loan proves it. Or will he head out the door on another loan? Maybe maybe extend his contract, give him another season. Or will it be the end of Stuart McKinstry? And then Diego Urente, an unused sub for Roma. But the positive there is he's back in the Roma squad, which means the injury that he picked up might not be that serious. Roma very keen to sign. Urente for less than the original 18 million agreed, but at the same time, um, they do still want to sign the player. So interesting to see what will happen there. The one that I haven't mentioned in that list there is, sorry, to um, Lewis Bate, who is season finished earlier. He's returned to Leeds. Tyler Roberts returned to Leeds from QPR, but went back to QPR recently and was expected to sign a permanent deal at QPR should they survive and stay in the championship, which they've managed to do. So you would imagine that that deal with uh, Tyler Roberts will never be made permanent or they will look to make that deal permanent for next season so uh, there's your long watch as much detail as I can give you for the last long watch for a lot of players um, we have a full season at it next year so we'll have a full crack at it next year when the players go out on loan depending on who's left we'll wait and see uh, let's get on to Joel Robles and according to Fabrizio Romano Leeds will discuss Joel Robles' future at the club at the end of this season Robles who signed a one year deal at Leeds has been primarily back up to Ilian Melier for most of this season, but has now gotten his chance in the remaining games for Leeds United, as well as an FA Cup game as well. Played very well against Manchester City. Uh, Robles it has got interest in mainland Europe from a couple of clubs, and what Romano has said is the following. Joel Robles will be 
decided at the end of the season he's expected to play the final games of the season after his good performance versus Manchester City. Robles' contract expires in June. More than two European clubs are informed of his situation, also waiting on Leeds. If Leeds do drop into the championship, Robles could be a good hand to have, assuming he wants to stick around. He might have better options in Europe, salary more so than anything else. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he does and what decision on him is. And I suppose how he plays in the last couple of games is going to be the real, you know, litmus test as, as to whether we want to keep him on or not. So fingers crossed he can. It's a big couple of games now after last night's results. So, uh, And then the final story today, we'll move into this and we'll wrap it up, is the under-21s beat Aston Villa in their semi-final playoff last night at Elland Road, 2-1 goals from Sonny Perkins and Matteo Joseph in that game. Leeds did fall behind early on to Aston Villa, but managed to claw their way back into the game. And Troupe Toll probably finished the game quite comfortably in the end. They will play Nottingham Forest in the final, which I believe will also be at Elland Road, given where Leeds finished. Um, at least it's the information that I read. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, some other information about the game last night. Lovely finish from Matteo Joseph. Very instinctive finish and a very good goal from... Sonny Perkins as well after good work by Sean McGurk. Uh, players that were called out for good performances, Jorginho, Rutter, Sonny Perkins, Matteo Joseph and Sean McGurk were all called out for having very strong performances. Rutter had impressed in the game quite a lot. Very aggressive in his running at the fullbacks and running at Aston Villa's defence, which they were saying um, would uh, highlight Sam Allardyce to have a look what at But I would say last night, if everyone's talking about Jorginho and Rutter and getting a chance and everyone keeps mentioning Rutter, Sonny Perkins and Matteo Joseph have been excellent in that team this year. And Matteo Joseph, for me, is probably the most natural finisher we have in the club right now, uh, especially in and around the box. You know, if you're looking for anybody to get a chance up front, for me, it would be Joseph ahead of everybody because just when balls drop in the box, he can finish, he can finish. And that's it for me. Right, folks, that's going to be it then for today. Thanks, as always, for watching. And uh, back tomorrow morning with some more Leeds news as we head into the weekend and press conference and start about what will be an absolutely massive game for Leeds against Newcastle. Have a great day. I'll talk to you then. Thanks. Bye.